Hi everyone, I'm kicking off my outfit of the day with a very unusual day for me today. First, yesterday I kept busy, I think I mentioned it in my last week's video, um, I, w I went to the uh, get my mammogram, I went to get a bone density, thankfully my bone density is good, still waiting to hear about the mammogram results. Um, went, got my mother her birthday gift, went food shopping, made my husband a quiche, and then I took a nice three mile walk yesterday because I didn't go to the gym. And then we had dinner out with people we know from the gym to celebrate our wedding anniversary of 22 years. And yeah, we didn't go to the gym this morning because we were, for us, we were out late last night to like eight, nine. That, that, that's late for us. We were in bed by eight o'clock every night. And just in general, my husband and I are both hurting a lot. Sometimes you go to the gym so much, you, you overuse and our body can use, both our bodies can use some rest right now. So we decided to take today off and today we're going with other friends to go visit a Hindu temple. That's something very new that they built in New Jersey. And there is a dress code for the tempo, temple. Um, no no uh, necklines. Now they said you're, no, they basically said no tank tops and your sleeves need to cover your upper arms. So I took that as being a half sleeve okay. I'm hoping it is. I will bring a jacket just in case this still is not appropriate, but they said the sleeves must cover the upper arms. This comes down to my elbow. In my mind, this is my upper arm. So hopefully that works. It's a navy color and again, high neck. Um, and it, this is a, a blouse that I got. I'll come a little bit closer. It has uh, the little um, Swiss dots on it. Obviously the puff sleeves and it's like a cotton poplin from Loft a couple of years back. And with it, I paired my very conservative um, chino pants from um, Liverpool that I got in a front door fashion. And uh, my sneakers that are slip on by Dolce Vita because when you go inside the temple, you need to take off your shoes. So my outfit today might not be the most on trend and fashionable, but I, it fits what I am doing today. All right, take care and see you tomorrow for another day of styling. Good morning, everyone. It is 7.10 on a Monday morning. What am I wearing today? What's going on? So yesterday we went to visit the Hindu temple. If you're within an hour's drive of this, I'd highly recommend it. It's free to get in and the architecture is incredible. Um, spent a lovely day walking around there. Um, and yeah, today it's back to work. Went to the gym this morning, which is the first time since Friday. <laughs> Um, I survived. I'm here. And what am I else am I doing today? I have to go to PT tonight. Um, I'm going to be changing from this outfit into probably shorts and a workout top. She kind of wanted to see my hamstrings, so having shorts would be best. And I don't know how long I'm going to be PT because they didn't cover my initial evaluation. They charged my insurance company only cover $24 of it and I have a lovely bill of $670. So I'm gonna have to call the insurance company today and find out why. <laughs> so other than that, I do have to pick up something from the dry cleaner. I also have to go to the pet store and get some more bedding for the bunny. We usually order from Chewy, but we I guess got our delivery screwed up or I used too much bedding and we're out of bedding now. So what am I wearing? I'm wearing this uh, top. Whew, I don't know who it's by. It's it's maybe Lush, I, I can't remember. It's from Nordstrom 2021. Um, I thought it was adorable. And I'm kind of over these puff, over exaggerated puff sleeves at this point between yesterday and today's top. But it's one of those tops, I have to wear it at this time of year because of the puff sleeves and it's not very breathable. It's kind of like a crepe polyester. Um, it has a banded bottom here, which I don't mind. They don't pop up on me because I am only five foot two. With it, I have paired my D's denim dad jeans. These are one of the few pairs of distressed jeans that made the cut because they're a nice relaxed fit and looser in the leg. Um, I wouldn't mind another pair of these jeans like this, but without the distressing. So I'm not like a really hard looking, because I have so many jeans, but I'm not hard looking for a pair of jeans like this, but I do would like a pair of jeans like this. So if I come across a pair, that fit great and it's this dad style, which is like a, basically just a straight leg, a straight relaxed leg. Um, yeah, I'm into it. And with it, I have paired my brown uh, plaid pumps because why not? When else am I gonna wear these? And like I said, when I do my errands and go to PT, um, this is not gonna be 
more. <laughs> All right, take care and see you tomorrow for another day of styling. Hi everybody, it is five to eight in the morning on a Tuesday, no gym for me today. Got up around 6.30, fed the bunny, cut up my peppers, uh, took my shower, pulled them out of the oven, and now I am making my breakfast. So I got five minutes before I have to get on that computer. What am I wearing today? I am wearing this oldie but a goodie. It's from White House Black Market. I'm thinking I got this 2019. It's a faux leather shirt. Um, I love the split V neck here, uh, the higher style collar, uh, the puff sleeves with an elasticized waist. And again, this is a coated shirt. Um, and I have it paired with my loft jeans that have the wide cuff on the bottom that are really trending now. And uh, my funky steam madam buckle shoes that I got over the summer at Nordstrom. And this is my outfit for today. Take care and see you tomorrow for another day of styling. Hi everyone, it is Wednesday already and I did not go to the gym this morning because I got a call last night saying my gym was flooded. So I'll go tonight instead. Um, yeah, back on track on Friday, hopefully at my usual 5 a.m. So what am I wearing today? I was very excited to pull out this sweater because I know it's comfy cozy. I got this from uh, Ever Eve probably like two, maybe even three years ago now. It's 50% cotton, 50% modal, so no wonder it's cozy and comfy. And I like this style and I think stripes are still in. So at the top part, it's just, you know, it's a, a black background with brown stripes. You can see the stripes even line up. Um, do they line up over here? Yeah, they line up here perfectly on the side. Uh, again, this sweater was from Ever Eve, and I love this color brown, and I love the color brown and black combination, and what can go wrong with the sweater? And I can even tolerate the, the crew neckline in this because I love everything else about the sweater. All right, so what am I wearing with it? I am wearing, dug them out of my closet, my cut from the cloth jeans that I ordered myself, I think, last year. They have these slant pockets here that are a little bit unusual. They have a boot cut that are a little bit too long on me and I'm wearing them with my clogs. And this is my outfit for today. Take care and see you tomorrow for another day of styling. Late start this morning, uh, no gym for me today. Uh, and you know, that's one of the reasons why I go to a 5 a.m. gym class. Otherwise I can't get myself up and moving. Um, but I went to the gym last night, had a very hard workout, ran like a lunatic. Here I am, what am I wearing today? I am wearing this um, cut from the cloth blouse that I think I saw on Angie, hot and flashy. And I just really like the colors. I think that it's a very pretty print in this blouse. Um, it has the buttons down the front and the split v-neck. It is polyester. I'm wearing a nude cami underneath. With it, I just have paired my mother's straight leg jeans and my Dolce Vita crochet sneakers. And yes, this is a very casual working from home outfit for today. Take care and see you tomorrow for another day of styling. Hi everyone, it's about 7.20 in the morning. It is Friday, finally. So um, today I got up, went to the gym, ran like a lunatic. My speeds are up there. They're, they're almost, not, well, not quite, almost getting back to pre-COVID. Not quite, but <laughs> getting there, which isn't easier because that was, that was like five years ago. And as you age, it gets harder and harder. So I came home, took care of the bunny, took my shower, went to my nutritionist, down finally 1.8 uh, pounds for a week, which is pretty darn good, but it's finally it budged. And she wants to keep me at my macro slash calorie consumption the way it is because uh, obviously I'm finally made progress after weeks of not. So that's kind of a bummer because it's a pretty limited diet right now. What am I wearing? And you're probably thinking, you're going out somewhere tonight, Carolyn. And excuse my hair, I didn't even really do it. It's still kind of wet here on the back. And uh, I literally, when I go to my nutritionist, I have to throw it up in a ponytail. So yeah, it is what it is. No, I'm not going anywhere tonight. <laughs> sometimes you just want to dress for fun. You know, it, sometimes you want to feel edgy. Sometimes you want to feel preppy. Sometimes you want to just be in your pajamas. You know, when you're not there to dress to impress anyone and dressing for yourself. Dress how you feel and how you want. So my outfit today, I'm wearing this um, loft little sleeveless, uh, I guess top or tank top style and faux leather. I think it's adorable. It's kind of a crop style. And I'm wearing it with my high waist maxi pistola skirt 
and my Steve Madden boots. And I think prior I called these Dolce Vita. These are definitely Steve Madden. I believe I got them last year at the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And yeah, this is my outfit for today from working from home. Tonight I have a hot date with my bunny rabbit and I'm gonna be grooming him. And that's the extent of my social life is my bunny rabbit. <laughs> Of course, my husband will be home too, but he'll most likely be watching TV and while well, I'm grooming the bunny. And yeah, no other plans for that and working from home. Take care and see you tomorrow for another day of styling. Hi everybody, it is Saturday and what did I do today? So I woke up at 4 a.m., didn't need to because my gym class wasn't until 7 a.m., but I finally got up out of bed at 6 a.m., took care of the bunny, uh, went to the gym, went food shopping, came home, took my shower, watched a little YouTube, and then got ready to go shopping. So that's what I'm doing today. I am going shopping. Are you guys surprised? Um, I am going to hit a thrift store. This is my very first thrift store in New Jersey. I've done Massachusetts and Minnesota now. I don't believe I ever thrifted in New Jersey. Um, this particular store is by an upscale shopping center. So I'm hoping to have some luck there. Um, and uh, it's also Loft Cash Redemption Day, so I'll be hitting Loft up and hitting a slew of other stores and moseying on down to, I want to try check out uh, Off Sacks. There's an Off Sacks down there and possibly, if I'm up to it, Nordstrom Rack. So what am I wearing for my shopping adventures today? I am wearing this Liverpool blazer that I got in a front door fashion. I love this blazer. I got it last year. With it, I also got this Michael Stars top. Typically, I don't buy Michael Starr's tees and tops because I think they're overpriced, but this one went so well with the jacket, and it has like a little shimmer to it. I don't know if you can see that, and I just knew that I wouldn't be able to find something that looks so good with this. So, you know, when it, when it makes the loud fit, I'll keep it. With it, I paired my mother jeans. These are one of the few distressed jeans that made my cut. Why did they make the cut? Well, number one, it's mother. <laughs> number two, they're a straight leg. And three, they're also a good height. And four, sometimes you just wanna look a little edgy. You know, the top part of me is very put together and something I probably wear to the office, right? But I don't work in an office. And I don't wanna wear clothes like I work in an office. I wanna look like I'm having fun. So yes, these made the cut and this is what I wore with the jacket and top. And the shoes are my Sam Edelman loafers. I believe I got them last year in ivory. And yes, they served me well these last year or two. All right, take care and see you next week for another week of styling. Oh, and I wanna thank returning subscribers. And if you're new here, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I did see a boost in my numbers the last week. So I appreciate you and stick around and let's see what I get. Take care until next time.